You can keep in my inelegant entrance, I don't care. I'm not worried, my hands are usually this clammy. What was the question? <laughs> oh, I can do this, I'm a professional. My name is Jamila Jamil, I'm working on The Good Place and I've been acting for three years. My name is Ruby Rose, I am currently working on Batwoman and I have been acting since, oh, well, probably since I was a kid. Hi, I'm Natasha Leone. Uh, I guess the show I'm currently working on is Russian Doll, because uh, Orange is the New Black just finished, so no more job there. I've been acting since 1984, so it's like seven years. Who is Jamila? Who is Ruby? Natasha is a... Uh, uh. Jamila is an activist, a writer, an actor, and a serial erection killer. I produce, I direct, I act, you know, I do dance. Mostly I'm known for dance. Uh, I am Ruby. Do people like answer that like, Ruby is fun loving? Like, is that, is that how people like, like, what, who are you? Describe your first headshot. Describe my first headshot. <laughs> uh, have I ever had a headshot? I was uh, so little, uh, and when you're a little person, uh, you make headshots, you have baseball caps and looks, because you're trying to get commercial work. Some of them you have pearls, you're a sophisticated four-year-old. Some of them you have a little baseball cap backwards, you're like, hey, I can play Curly Sue. My eyebrows were way too thin. Yeah, I blame Mariah Carey, Christina Aguilera, and the whole 2000s era. I'm not a proper actress, uh, I'm still, uh, finding my feet in the industry, but I will get one now. Sorry, everyone. On a scale of one to 10. How much does social media affect my career? 10. Ugh. I would probably be the wrong person to ask. There are networks and studios that look into numbers and consider that. Social media has affected my animal videos uh, intake by 100%. Four or five. I don't think it's the most important thing, but I don't think it's the least important thing. I follow so many cat and dog accounts, your mind would be blown. What's unique about working on The Good Place? What's unique about uh, working on Russian Doll? What's unique about working on Batwoman? Wow. I mean, literally everything. It's like none of the horror stories you've ever read about in any magazine. We have a, a writer's room with a brilliant women. I'm trying to think of something that isn't unique about working on Batwoman. The idea that I get to go in there and work with them and uh, create from the ether is, you know, the great joy of my life. Every single person on that set is kind and funny. And that's because everyone is cherry picked and grown in their career by Mike Schur. Especially for me, it's a very long series. I've never done that. I'm a superhero that has a bat suit. Never done that. I live in Canada now. I don't have your president. What is my average day on set like? Different, every day. Delightful, because it always starts with Ted Danson. It's almost like being a session musician or something and hearing what the band is already playing and locking in. I drink a lot of coffee on night shoots and then have a lot of difficulty peeing in a bat suit. That's kind of my daily struggle. I start learning my lines and practicing them opposite a national treasure. I'm f after this job, aren't I? I'll never find anything as fun as this again. I'm retiring. I'm announcing it right, I'm retiring. What I want young women to know when they're thinking about pursuing acting is dare to be different. Do not conform to what you think you're supposed to look like. Get a briefcase, okay? Uh, get some sneakers, big white Reebok sneakers. Put those heels in your briefcase when you get on the subway. You'll meet a lot of amazing people. You will work very hard. I want big hair, perm, tees, a large blazer. The bigger the shoulder, the more you're a boss. You'll get a lot of no's and a lot of rejections, but just don't give up. Do I have any vocal or pronunciation exercises? I do something that's, I think, disturbing for people, if I'm honest. Uh, it's important that before you're acting, you go like this, <laughs> to get it out of your system. When I'm playing American people, which I do a lot of in voiceover, I chew gum because it's it loosens my jaw and helps me get that American twang. I have an amazing accent coach, Liz Himmelstein, who's worked with everybody. She has me walk around set being like, bodyga, 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 belly to the lips. Oh my God, this is that bad. If you ever see me on set and I'm like, huh, it's because I'm feeling 
Rocky in a scene. Like, I know how to fix this. My co-star, Drew Gray, also uses her because he was like, body go, body go, body go. I was like, belly to the lips. We should all be hugging, you know, on a more regular basis together, freely out in the world. Influences uh, on my career. Gosh, where to begin? Danny Wallace was a big influence on my career. He wrote a book called The Yes Man. I would say my mum and Jen Houston were both really big influences on my career. That book was about a person who was dissatisfied with their life who decided to say yes to absolutely everything. The Film Forum as a whole was a, a large uh, influence on me. I spent so much time there watching double, quadruple features, uh, old movies, and I think that that uh, greatly influenced my sense of uh, how to break the rules. I decided to try that for myself and said yes to almost everything other than anal. What TV show influenced me the most? Friends, which sounds ridiculous. It's a tie between the Ninja Turtles and Xena, Warrior Princess. The Tracy Ullman Show and the Carol Burnett Show. Yep, they both taught me a lot about life. The person I related to most in Friends, unfortunately for me, was Chandler. <laughs> Which is, it's sad. On a scale of one to ten. How famous do I feel? Like a three? Most people think I'm Priyanka Chopra. Do you guys think I'm Priyanka Chopra? Ew. Ew. I'm not answering that. I always feel something like a, a, a garden gnome. Something that's sort of a, a good luck in passing. Like, hey. What's that gnome doing in the East Village? Skip that god-awful question. Oh, hey, it's you. Can I get a light? It's like they know that I have a lighter on me, you know? But they don't even want a photo. True or false? I feel like I am in control of my career. Uh, true. True. I think I'm in control of my career. True. For the first time ever, true. The hardest emotion for me to express on camera. I don't know. I don't know what the hardest emotion is for me to express on camera. Fear, because as an English person, uh, my fear normally comes out in a very stoic way, where I'm just sort of stone-faced and dead. But obviously that does not work on camera for anyone. You know what I don't like doing on camera? When they're like, and do a fake laugh, and the joke's not funny. Good writing, you get a great laugh out of me. Terrible joke, you'll get a terrible laugh. So having to feign fear, which is almost always with a f***ing green screen. You're like looking at a mop, pretending it's a monster. All things uh, surrounding, you know, vulnerability or fear or rage or sadness or loneliness. Or... Riding that wave is all sort of dependent, sort of project to project and environment to environment. True or false? The industry has changed me. Uh, false. True. I haven't become an asshole, but it has toughened me up. I would say true in positive ways. Has it affected me in a negative way? No, I think it's it's been good. What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? What, do I, what does anybody want? Uh, to make people happy. I want to be happy and make my dogs happy. Proper gender equality. I would like women to spend less time than they do hating their appearances or even just thinking about their appearances. I'm coming from a uh, point of view that sort of presupposes that we're gonna that we're gonna win, you know, that like women are gonna uh, triumph. It makes me happy to think that, even if it's uh, delusional, which on a statistical basis uh, it is. You know, it's 208 years until gender equality. I personally practice body neutrality because I can't do positivity. I just don't want to think about it. I allow this to take up one tenth of my headspace now. Do I love myself? Do I love myself? Yeah, I think I, I've spent too much time hating myself. Love is a strong word, but you know, I get the idea. It's not that bad, it's not that good. I'm a hundred. As of one and a half years ago, yes I do. Yeah, you have to love yourself. You can't love other people until you love yourself. I know it's cliche, but it's true. Before I hated myself, I bullied myself more than anyone else ever could have. But that's what we do. We're taught to hate ourselves and then we ingest that and it plants inside of us and then we grow it. And so uh, I had therapy, I started the I Way movement, and now I quite like myself. We're all unique. We're all made individually different and cool and crazy and wild and quiet and all the different spectrums of all the different things we can be. We get to be this one unique version of it. Like, how can you not love that? Hashtag social media rocks.